In this example, we'll be creating a timeline activity in a soft chalk lesson. We place the cursor where we would like the activity to be located. We choose Insert from the menu bar, select Activity, and choose Timeline. We have the ability to title our timeline, so we click in the title line and then type in our timeline. Once we have entered a title, we then choose how we want our timeline to be ordered. It can be ordered by date, or it can also be ordered by list, which means an alphabetical listing. I'll choose to make this a date interval timeline. I then choose which interval period I would like, and notice it can go from one year to 500 years. We then start creating events for our timeline. So we click on the New button. We then can enter a month, day, and year for the event. The month and the day are optional. We then type in a title for the description of the event and also additional content if we would like. Once we have entered our description and content, if we would like an image associated with that, we can put in an image, or we can just click OK to create our first item or first event in our timeline. We click on New to create another new card. Again, choose a month, day, and year. We then populate the list. The order we populate the list does not matter. They will be arranged by date. We've now populated our list with events that have occurred. Some are specific dates and some just are years. We then go to our Options tab and decide what instructions we want to give to our students and then added any additional information for use with a screen reader for assisted technologies and then decide whether we want our activity to display in line or as a linked file. I'll make it display in line and then click OK. Now let's see what it would look like to our students. We'll preview it and save our changes and there is our timeline.